what is going on my peeps your man versatile is back with another video back here to talk about my marvelous build my fantastic build for miss marvel yes you know she is also built like miss fantastic so being able to really kind of look at her build from a different perspective is what um it's got me intrigued by her now one of the things i did not change out and i think it's because of what I have her equipped with. I'm keeping the Void Tech Transponder on her because of the particle damage and the duration of the particle status effect. So I'm gonna keep that on her um, in terms of minor artifacts. Of course I have the Red ISO 8 and I, I need a triple stack to keep playing me on the triple stack. Uh, for some reason they just won't give me one. And then I have uh, the ISO Eight of Cosmic Affinity, which gives her ultimate a recharge, and the Cosmic Surge, which restores her health, or willpower and heroic energy. And as you see here, outside of her alt assault heroic, her other two heroics have pretty decent charge speeds. Then you see intensity, resilience is a big thing, resolve is a big thing, valor is pretty decent, proficiency is adequate, could be better, and then of course might. So she's pretty pretty well built from that perspective. Um, if you want to run in here, I use the heavyweight buff bands, which um, the heavy combo finishers grant a damage buff. Just her combo finishers are long, much like Black Panther and Captain America's are. But if you can get to it, you get a damage buff most likely. And then uh, heavy combo finishers deal particle damage, and I increase the polymorph energy, so that way she can say uh, she can stay supersized longer. And then I use the armlets of the storm, which is all particle damage with range attacks, uh, and then they'll continually take particle damage if they're held, which is also nice. And then thrown enemies emit particle damage, which is cool. And then attacking on surge, and this is where my intensity comes into play, uh, right there. And then uh, the Marvelous Body Armor, which uh, damage reduction from attacks by, for, for any team member with Team Spirit is active. Increase the charge rate of the support by 18% and healing spirit recovery 200% increase willpower regeneration from healing spirit. So she's going to stay alive. She's definitely kind of support based along with her being able to do some pretty decent damage. And then with Aerial Blessing Insignia. Uh, it's 12% increased critical hit chance for mid-air melee attacks. Takedowns grant a defense buff and then successfully land. Uh, I don't really care for that. That's the one piece I could probably change if I really wanted to. If I could ever get something that was worth the change. Because I really don't care for it. Um, this one's neat because of the heroic ultimate charge rate. Defeating enemies grants a willpower burst. Uh, this is my proficiency, so I lose a little bit of resolve, which I'm not going to be too mad at because of her other things. So I think I'm going to switch to Aerial Blessing as opposed to the Quake. Um, her resolve will fall to 150, basically. but Or 100, but that's fine. I mean, I get a slightly better proficiency, which she'll need anyway. So for now, this is what we're going to switch to. You guys get to see a live tweak of a current build. And she does pretty decent, significant damage. I'm not even mad at this build. So, let me go ahead and swap that out. And that is... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, that's right, yeah. Then you saw melee went up. Defense fell slightly. Uh, I think heroic slightly went up. Oh, no, that slightly fell as well. Um... But it's, it wasn't bad. Like, she's still beasting out here. So, proficiency went up ever so slightly. Resolve and resilience is still is still good. And then her recharge rates are higher, except for assault again. So, if there's anything I want to try to change or switch out, if it's not with this, um, my melee gear, it's probably going to be this. Because I really like her marvelous body armor. And I like her armlets of the storm as of right now because of that cosmic surge. Or the uh, tachyon surge, my bad. So now, before we jump into skills, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos. That way you can sit back, chillax, and see what's cracking. And let me know down in the comment section below what's your favorite 
hero or how do you like using Kamala and if so how do you have your uh, Miss Marvel build built out now let's get back into the video now as I said outfits I don't usually wear the super fan outfit the outfit that I'm rocking is a future Marvel outfit I love this outfit so that's my outfit for her if it just comes back here I'm very much so tempted to kind of switch back to this right now but I think I'm gonna wait because she's gonna get an outfit soon so I'm gonna switch it once once she gets her outfits uh, from that perspective and then I use her tough enough emote I haven't bought any other ones from her and then I love this Miss Marvel number 59 nameplate for her in terms of my takedowns <coughs> I have all eight active right now, but if, as I get more, I start to disable certain ones. And then I'm 85 out of 88 on the comic books. Now, into the skills. Got all those. Now, if you look at her specialty, for her healing spirit, I use the Life Spark, uh, which um, bypassing the need to be revived by a teammate so that she can just instantly revive herself. And then over here, increase the duration of healing spirits, uh, residual effect by 8 seconds, that inner peace, I like that. Too slow, adds a large explosion area on impact, which is nice, a little extra damage. Um, and then over here for patty cake, based on high five, defeating enemies with high five has a chance to create heroic orbs. And then high five is 40%, up high 60%, down low is 40%, and too slow is 25%. So that's how you get them heroic orbs for their ultimate heroic. Got big trouble, which extends and begin by five seconds. Now I could uh, taunt people with it, and then um, and I could do reach impact, but I want the duration. The fists of fury, defeating enemies while in begin extends the duration of the ability by one second, which is nice. And then you have a critical attack does 35% more damage. While in Biggin, which is nice as well. Every enemy defeated while in Biggin has a 25% chance to drop heroic orb. Now it'd be between number one and number two. But I like what I have right now on that. And if I go to mastery, this is where the fun begins. So for utility, I use a heroic energy mastery, increases the amount of heroic energy gained by 1% from dealing damage with light and heavy attacks. So that's nice. Performing a takedown, force uh, force an enemy to drop a heroic orb. Range, increases the power and weight of whip fist, causing a stronger enemy reaction. Prevent uh, being interrupted from enemy attacks while holding onto an enemy. So this is for grabbed. I can also reduce the cost of holding some money by 40%. And then reduce the, the evade by 15%. So you know you want to grab enemies with her go ahead and do that but I also like not being interrupted heroic grab mastery 25% chance to generate heroic orb after slamming or throwing a grabbed enemy which is nice and then polymorph efficiency reduce the intrinsic energy activation cost by 40% for polymorph and then reduces the sustained in, uh, intrinsic energy cost by 25% using polymorph and then it, Increase chance to land a critical hit while polymorph is active by 15%. Now, what I could have did was increase the stun damage or increase the maximum amount of polymorph energy. So I just have polymorph energy as much as I can. <sighs> but I wanted to increase the critical hit chance while polymorph is active, so that's why I decided to opt for that. But if I want to, I can always switch back to polymorph boost. Then for intrinsic energy. Increase the critical attack chance for polymorph by 15%. So that combined with that, that's like a 30% increase chance to critical hits with polymorph. So that's why I did that. But you can do stun damage. You can also reduce the, the cost of polymorph. So again, it's super easy to sustain polymorph energy by going that route. Or push comes to shove, go the route of critical chance slash critical attack damage then here I use a recovering rebound parrying an attack with hip check restores a portion of intrinsic polymorph energy so that's also good that's a way to keep it as well and then uh, perfect evade refunds 30% of the points of intrinsic energy but I'm good 
Intrinsic energy recharges faster the lower the current amount of willpower up to a maximum of 30% bonus. Adrenaline surge, that's also nice. Now her health should not be that low often, so I don't even have to depend on that. Sixth sense, increase the size of the parry window of the hip check by 20%. I'm trying to get that, that hip check in. Now you could do this too, shining will increase the recovery rate of willpower by 15%. And then nimble reflexes, but I'm good with this one. And then in terms of my champion points, she ain't got but two um, perk chance. And this is way in the beginning. I did melee, but now I know to do like basically almost every other one, except for melee and ranged and maximum willpower boost. Those are the three that we know that don't work. So I'm gonna stick to the perk chance and the critical chance and the stun chance and the heroic charge rate that's what I'm gonna stick to and at present as we see her melee is 2500 her defense is 15 her range is 800 um, or defense is 1500 range is 800 and heroic is 1800 and that is my Kamala build in terms of my consumables I still have the one day catalyst and then I have a two hour catalyst and then I have a fragment extractor catalyst so and then yes as you see with the with the particle damage using the void tech transponder really helps with that i've noticed some percentage increase there and i think i need to probably find another intensity piece for her you know if i look at um this valor resolve might maybe i have something with intensity i do I could lose some Valent on intensity on her. Uh, reduce the drain uh, with, from spin from spin attacks. I still maintain my cosmic surge and I get that intensity boost. So I think going live, you see me make one more change here. Boom, just like that. Now I wish I didn't really have to but I think I like that there and then what I'm gonna do is make sure I keep that but that helps with the intensity because this is gonna help with the particle damage as well and so if I want all that to work for her I need that to work there so now let's go ahead and do a mission well I can't do a mission right now um, so no gameplay this specific video but if you want to see gameplay from Kamala check out the infinite wars part one and part of uh part two if you want to see gameplay because outside of these two changes that you saw me make she's solid you'll see the rest of her her damage and then you can just see say those two changes i made you there'll be more damage from her based off of that but that is my kamala khan miss marvel uh fantastic build uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you found this build useful. What other builds you may want to see. Uh, I do have an Iron Man build coming up soon called the uh, the Cosmic Breaker Suit. Uh, shout out to one of my guys in the comments on one of my chats that gave me that. I th oh man, I really did forget his name. Oh, I think it was Jack the Ripper. Um, I think he was the one that gave me that, that, that name. I was looking for something, Cosmic something for Iron Man. He's like, try Cosmic Breaker. And I was like, you know what? I like that. Cosmic Breaker Mark 1. Something like that. But, yeah. Again, let me know down in the comment section below. But, again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so that way you never miss my videos. Now we can sit back to that and see what's cracked. It's your man, Versus, for signing out. And until the next video. Wait, fool.